Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. For today's video, we are going to be doing a November purchaser pass. You guys, I cannot believe, I feel like I say this every single month, but I cannot believe we're almost at the end of the year. Like what is freaking happening? I feel like time just flew by so fast this year. I have a couple of things, a lot of fun things to kind of go through if you guys are interested. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, Vlogmas starts, I think, tomorrow when you're watching this. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss Vlogmas. As always, if there's something that I don't like that you like, that doesn't mean you have bad taste. It just means you have different taste and that is okay. So without further ado, let's get into <laughs> this month's purchaser pass. We're gonna start off with Frozen because there is a ton of Frozen merch. We have these ears. It has Elsa and Anna on it and they have like little snowflakes in the center. I think these are cute. However, there is a pair that is much cuter in my opinion. So I personally would skip over these. The back is actually really pretty of these ears. One has like a pink ombre and the other side has like a purplish bluish ombre. It has like a bunch of little like silver snowflakes. I think they're really cute pair of ears. I just personally think I'm gonna skip over these. Next we have a Dooney and Burke Frozen collection. It's okay. I'm not a big Dooney and Burke person. I personally have never purchased anything from them. So I'm already just like not really gravitating towards it. I don't like the shape of this bag personally. It's just not a style that I would get in a backpack. I do think Elsa's beautiful. I'm a big Elsa stan. I don't know. Nothing about this bag is really speaking to me and it's also $300. So I would personally skip over this. There is a wallet though. And I do think this wallet is really cute. It does have Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven. There's a really cute design of all the characters. Um, but once again, I just don't really think I need this. So I will be skipping over the uh, Dooney and Burke collection. These ears I think are so, so cute. And I think I actually want to get them on my next trip. I have Anna on one side and we have Elsa on the other. I love the side profiles of them. In the middle, you have a sequin bow and it has Olaf in the center and it does have a number 10 on it for the 10th anniversary. I think these ears are stunning and I love the embroidery, the detail. I love that it has pink on them. Like definitely did not think we would ever see pink Frozen merch. So I personally love these and I actually think I'm going to get them because I do really love Frozen and I love Elsa in particular. And even though I just got Elsa ears, I feel like I need a pair of Elsa and Anna ears. And I think these are the ones. Next, we're going to get into some Wish merch, which I have not seen the movie Wish yet. I definitely am planning on seeing it. Overall, I actually really like this collection. I think it was really well done. I feel like I'm going to pass on most of it just because purple is not really my vibe. I think they did a good job with the designs for what the movie is, if that makes sense. We have this backpack, this lounge fly. I think she looks so pretty. I don't think I need need it. I'm really just trying to be super, super picky with my lounge flies because they take up so much space. So I feel like I'm going to skip over this. I could see myself maybe getting it if it was like on sale. I love the little star in the corner and I don't know. I think it's good artwork and it looks good for an Asha backpack. So I do like this. Next we have a spirit jersey, which you guys already know. I'm not a big spirit jersey girly. There are some sparkles in it. On the front, it just has the star. And then on the back, it says, I'm a star, which is so cute. I personally don't need this, but I do, I do like it. I think it's probably one of the better spirit jerseys that I've seen. Next we have some new pins. I actually think I will pick up a pin. I have yet to pick up a Little Mermaid Halle live action pin. I definitely want an Asha pin. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. Like, I feel like I want the one with her on it. But I also like the one of just the star. I think that is so cute. So, I don't know. Which one is your favorite, you guys? Let me know. Next, we have this little Asha shirt, which is a t-shirt. It's a woman's tee, so I just already know I'm not going to like the fit of a woman's tee. I'm more of a men's tee type of girl or a children's tee. I love, I love the shade of purple. Like, I wish they did a pair of lavender purple ears for Asha. Um, we'll talk about the ears in a second, but I do really wish they did like a lavender pair because I do want a different pair of lavender ears and I want to replace the ones that I have. Have a new mug. This is a star mug. I think it's so cute. I personally would never use this. As someone that doesn't really drink hot drinks, like I don't know why I have so many mugs, I just stop buying them. So we're not buying any more unless they're an absolute need and this one is not. So we're skipping over it. Next we have this little like journal, which I think is really cute. Very simple, but 
but yeah, I don't need this journal, so I'll be uh, skipping over this. We also have this pillow, which I think it's cute. I think this like artwork of her, like the side profile with the star, I think that is so cute. So I do love the artwork. I don't need an Asha pillow, so we'll be skipping over this as well. We do have a blanket, which I do appreciate the more neutral vibes of the blanket. I think it's really pretty. Once again, I don't need it, but I can appreciate good stuff, and I think this is really cute. Really good, really good. This little bag, it's doing something to me. I'm kind of into it. I think because it's smaller than the lounge fly, I'm like tempted to get it. I love the purple color. I actually saw someone recently wear it on insert a photo, but he looked super cute wearing this bag and I was like, you're kind of making me want to get it. I'm easily influenced, I, I'm i sorry. Um, it's just it's just who I am. I do you think this is really, really cute? And once again, like that side profile photo of her is just, the sweetest thing in the entire world and i'm obsessed with her already so i do think this bag is super cute next we have this hat which is a black hat and it has some rhinestones and it has the star on it it's really giving early 2000s not for me but it's giving early 2000s i think i would look actually really dumb in this so i will be skipping over this we have a couple of popcorn buckets we have a goat popcorn bucket which i'm not sure what his name is oh his name is valentino he's cute but i don't need popcorn buckets we also have a star sipper which is also very cute but i also don't need it at all and we have a star pill Pillow, which I think this is a cuter pillow than the other one. It's a plush. Sorry, not a pillow, but I think it's really cute Don't need it, but I can appreciate some cute things The very last thing that we have though is a new pair of ears. It has star on them and they're like a Sequined gold color. Like I said, I really really hope that they come out with a lavender pair of ears I just feel like I would love that so much more than these ears I'm really hoping that they do that because I definitely want a pair of Asha ears in my life at some point. Um, it's just, I don't think these are the ones for me, but they're cute. I don't, I'm not mad at that. I have another pair of ears. These are Dooney and Burke ears and these are so, so cute. They are pretty pricey, so I think I'll be skipping over them. I just think the artwork is so cute and what's really doing it for me is the leather bow. I just love how neutral it is and I just know I could wear it with pretty much anything and everything. So I do really like these ears. I do really want, but I don't need, so we're skipping. They're so cute though, so if you get these, I approve. Adorable, amazing. I love it. Next we have a brand new Nuimos and it's actually a Belle Nuimos, but she is in her blue outfit and I think this is so cute. I am in the process of collecting every single Princess Nuimos. One of the ones that I don't have is Belle and I'm trying to decide, do you think I need Belle in her yellow dress or do I need Belle in her blue dress? I definitely don't want both, but what is better? I can't decide. I feel like Belle in her yellow dress is just iconic to Belle, like that's what we all know her for. But I love Belle in her blue dress, so I don't, I don't know. I think it's so cute though. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. Which one do I need? We have a, another pair of ears. These are the new 2024 ears. And these, these are, these were a choice. I am not their target audience. They're, they're interesting. There's lots of colors going on. We have lots of stars and circles and it looks like it's made out of plastic on the ears and like the stars maybe move around a little bit it looks like there's some hidden mickeys in there the headband is hot pink it says 2024 on the numbers there's like a little icon for the disney world park so we have like the epcot on the number two I think the O is supposed to be for Magic Kingdom. The other two is Animal Kingdom, and the number four is Playwood Studios. Like I said, I personally do not need this. There's a lot going on here, and I would never wear these, so we are a thousand percent skipping over these ears. There's actually more Frozen merch that's actually released in Hong Kong. We have some new emos outfits, which is really cute. We have a travel storage bag, which I think the print is really cute. I love the luggage tag. I had to add a light because it is getting dark. Like you guys, this time change is really killing me. I can't do it with the time change. I feel like I only get like a certain amount of time during the day to film. 
and we're just gonna have to deal with the unnatural lighting which i don't like but it's okay wish the luggage tag was sold separately because i would figure out a way to order it i think it's so cute though so i'm into the frozen merch i think it's adorable the little plush of olaf with the little mini snowman guys whatever they're called so cute i love it it's amazing i just i'm so jealous that hong kong gets arendelle I want Arendelle here at Disneyland. Like, can we please do it? Speaking of Hong Kong and just overseas parks in general, there are a ton of new ears that they're releasing. First, we have these sequined uh, velvety, like, red ears. I personally do not like the style of these ears. Like, I like the shape of, like, the bow and stuff. I just don't like the way these sequins are. Like, I'm more of, like, an all-sequined kind of girl. Like, if you're gonna put sequins, like, let's fully commit... If not, let's just not do it. That's how I am. And this is just not fully committing for me. So we're going to skip over it. We also have a navy blue pair, which I think the navy blue looks a little bit better than the red pair. But once again, I don't I don't need these. Um, so we'll be skipping over these. These next years are so, so cute. We have the like Sherpa pair, which I have two versions of this pair of ears um i have like a cream pair and i have like a mocha kind of pair i do love their ears i will say whenever i get ears from like tokyo disney the ears are a little bit small for my head and they just kind of fall forward so that's just like a little warning if you got a big head like me they might not fit your head i do love this like peachy kind of color i think it's really cute i play my vibe but i think i'm okay i don't need them also have like more of like a buttercream kind of shade where it's like a little bit more yellowy it literally looks like a stick of butter um was like rubbed all over his um a pair of ears to get the color i am also going to be skipping over these have a faux fur type of vibe i do love the colors i love like the sequin bow the nice brown shade i'm definitely into neutrals i do love them however i feel like the shade of the ears just don't match how big the bow is let me know if i'm crazy but i just feel like something is a little bit off i'll be skipping over these we also have the same pair in a pink color which you definitely know these would have been a pair that i would have gotten once again i just feel like the shape is just throwing me off and i'm not into it so skipping over those we have a different style of sequined ears i feel like they have a bunch of different versions of these but we have a teal aqua kind of shade which i think are really really pretty i feel like this would be really cute for tokyo disney sea i'll be skipping over these or even like the 25th anniversary disney cruise line I'm not sure which cruise exactly does that, but I do think that will be really cute to be like in that color. I'll be skipping over these. I'll have the same pair in a brown color, but I will also skip over. And we also have a pink pair. I know I just said if you're going to do sequins, I need to fully commit. But for some reason, this is a little bit too committed for me. It is way too much sequins. I think the bow should have been like something different, like maybe like this you know and i think i would have been more into it so i'll be skipping all three pairs but i do think they're really pretty i just don't feel like i need next we have a pair of cookie and ears i think these are so cute she has a little bow which has like some snowflakes on it you think they are really cute i don't I'm not like a big cookie and fan so i'll be skipping over these usually when i buy like duffy and friends merch it's either duffy shelly or stella lou oh and lena bell those are like the ones that i usually gravitate towards and cookie and unfortunately is just not really my girl so skipping over that one the last pair of tokyo disney ears that we're going to talk about today are these new sweater ears and these are so cute i will say the bow was a bit big but i feel like they might be cute on i don't know i do love just like that sweater knitted material i think that's so so cute i feel like the ears itself are like a little bit too low like i feel like if they would have been higher up it would have looked better but once again it would have to be something that i try on i do think they're cute though i do think they are very very cute lounge fly which is going to be released on shop disney it is from the mini mouse peach punch collection i'm interested to see what else comes out with this collection it is going to be on shop disney on december 11th so if you guys are interested make sure you guys are on the website i'm interested to see what else usually when they do like a color scheme like they've done like the mint collection they did potion purple they did millennial pink like usually when they do things like that pair of ears lounge fly a spirit jersey are like the three things that are definitely going to be included everything else i feel like is just up in the air for just like whatever they decide to do personally i do not like this bag maybe it's a different story if i were to see it in person but 
the sequins just look really bad i don't know i just feel like that peach color would have been so good like i love the leather bow and that shade that's on the bow more of like a rose gold kind of vibe sequins just look poorly made it's again i can always change my mind so maybe if i see this in person it's like the most beautiful bag in the world and i have to buy it just from these photos it just looks awful in my opinion it looks like one of those shirts that like you can move the sequins up and down to like change the color and I don't like shirts like that. And I also wish they would have made it like all sequined. I personally like my red sequined one. Like the only thing that's non-sequined is the bow itself. And I just love when the lounge flies look like that. So I'm kind of sad the ears aren't sequined as well. Interested to see the rest of the collection. We'll definitely review it next month. But based off of this is an immediate pass for me because I don't know what is going on. We have another pair of sequined ears. These are like... they. Remind me of like little mermaid colors. There's purple and like aqua. Lots of sequins going on. And then we have a satin bow with like a big rhinestone in the middle. Some rhinestones on the bow itself. I think these are cute. Not really. I lied. I don't like these at all. Um, I <laughs> I don't like these ears. Usually I don't buy a lot of Little Mermaid merch for the sole reason that they use a lot of these like aqua kind of colors in her merch, and it's just not really my style. So I personally will be skipping over these. There is, I don't know if it's a matching backpack. I feel like these ears look a little bit more green in comparison to this backpack that is more blue. So I don't think it's a matching set, but we do have a blue and purple sequin lounge fly, which is also available in the parks. I don't like these. I don't know. I'm not really into like the dual sequin style. I just would rather it be all blue or all purple. I'm still waiting for Disney to make like a lilac sequin lounge fly that looks like my mint green one and kind of like this pastel pink one like i feel like there's so many colors that they're missing out on not into this so i will be skipping over that we also have some home decor first thing is this marble um soap dispenser and this is so cute like i'm so tempted to buy it do i have a house no i don't i don't even have my own place but sometimes I like to buy home decor when the day comes where I have my own place. You know what I mean? So this is kind of tempting. I love the gold like Mickey's that go around the trim. Just so subtle and cute. I don't know. I want to see it in person. It is a soap dispenser. <laughs> do I need a soap dispenser? No, but I do think it's really cute. Along with that in the collection, there's also a set of like marble coasters. I personally don't like the coasters. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I would prefer a different kind of coasters but i do think the soap dispenser would be so cute we also have a winnie the pooh pillow i think he's cute i personally do not need this but i do think it's adorable if you're a big winnie the pooh fan or if you have like a winnie the pooh themed room this would be cute but i will be skipping over it i feel like i just wish it was like a different shade of yellow i feel like i would have liked it more but obviously like i know this is the shade of winnie the pooh so like it kind of has to be this color last thing that i want to talk about before we get into the new sony clover collection is this tote bag which is a black tote bag it just says disneyland on it or Disneyland Resort on it. I think this is really cute and I honestly think it's going to be really popular. I personally told myself I don't need any more tote bags because I really don't really reach for tote bags. It's not something that I usually gravitate towards. I definitely don't need another one but I do think the style is really cute and this kind of like collection they've been doing with Spirit Jersey, the jackets that we saw, like the zip-up jackets. You guys know I have like the gray and black one. Um, they also recently did like a puffer, like a black puffer jacket with like the Disneyland strings that look just like this which is really cute. So I'm loving this vibe. I feel like there's definitely an audience for it and definitely like a need for just more like simpler merch like black and white just say Disneyland, make it simple. I'm glad they're doing this. Once again, I don't need it, but I do feel like this would be something that would sell out, honestly. Next, let's get into the Sony Clover collection because I did buy things from this collection. I bought way more than I thought I would. I have issues, but it's okay. That's why we're here and that's why we talk about it together so we can have issues together, you know? We love it. Just did a Christmas collection and I think a lot of it is still available on either Shop Disney or the Sony Clover website. First thing, which is my favorite thing and definitely something that was number one on my list was this pink sherpa crossbody bag it is so freaking cute it's mini mickey shaped and the shade of pink is just so perfect and i am so excited to have this i know they've done a crossbody like this before but it was red for last christmas and so i'm just really happy that they did a pink one because i am all for pink and obviously disney and sony clover so it's just like all three of my favorite things in one and i love it i immediately purchased this and i knew this was gonna be the 
number one thing on my list. Then they also came out with two different prints. The first print that we have is this green print, which has like Christmas tree with a little bow and it has Mickey's on it. And then we have some peppermint Mickey's on it as well. Personally, this isn't my favorite print. I definitely like the other print more, which we'll get into. I'm just not really into green. I know I'm wearing green right now, but if I'm gonna do green, it's gonna be like an emerald green, not so much a bright green like this, especially to wear. The fact that it's a fanny pack, it's just not something that I would buy. It is a jumbo though, which I do love jumbo fanny packs. The strap also just isn't my favorite shade of pink. I wish it matched the bows a little bit more. I just feel like this just like isn't for me. So I knew I was going to skip on this immediately. Then they also did a hair bow, which also is the same print. They do have the bow. I think the bow is actually sold out, but I don't need this either. I just didn't really, I don't really like this print. I did buy something in this print. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Interested to see what it looks like in person. Okay. A lot of the times with Sonya Clover, even Disney in general, like a lot of things look so much better in person. Sometimes they look worse, but most of the time they look better in person. They do online. I did order the small pouch in this print just because I thought it might be cute. I think certain prints look better on certain items. And the last thing they have, which is actually a Shop Disney exclusive, is a mini backpack in this print. And I do think the mini backpack looks cuter than the jumbo. I don't know what it is about the jumbo that I just don't really like. I do think it looks so cute as a mini backpack. I think the straps look cuter as a mini backpack. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I do think this is adorable and I feel like this would be a, a cute Christmas gift. Like if you were someone that has a Disney fan in your life and you're wondering what to get them for Christmas or if you want to add something for your Christmas list I think anything from the Sunny Clover collection the Disney one the Disney Christmas one is like the perfect gift next we have my favorite print which was the uh, champagne kind of color it's like a champagne pinky kind of shade I think it's so pretty you have Minnie and Mickey and their little Santa fits little Christmas presents and snowflakes and candy canes and I think it's really cute I think my only concern about this fanny pack is that the characters just are really small once again I'm curious to see what it looks like in person I was like my one like concern when I was looking through it I was like I'm not sure if I love how small the characters look like I kind of wish they were bigger and they filled up more of the fanny pack instead of so much empty space once again we'll see what it looks like when I get my package um and we'll do a whole unboxing and we'll we'll review it together I personally wasn't even planning on getting this however I was like if it sells out will I be sad possibly so I'd rather buy it and sell it if I don't like it instead of like missing out on it and then it being like three times the price on Mercari later which happens to me a lot they also did a scrunchie which I'm sad I didn't get a scrunchie see this is what I'm talking about and of course the scrunchie is the one item that sold out it is now being sold for like $300 on Mercari people are crazy People are truly crazy. Scrunchie is really cute and I'm really sad that I missed out on the scrunchie. And the last thing that they kind of came out with in this print is the circle open top kind of pouch, which they created, I think earlier this year for mini ears. And so it perfectly fits mini ears. On the outside, it has like that pink print and on the inside, it has a green print. So I feel like this is a good item to get if you were one, a Disney fan, you're going to use your Disney ears. You can also put other things in there. But also, if you really wanted something in both prints, but you couldn't decide what you wanted, I feel like this would have been a good item. I personally don't feel like I would use it. Like, I think I would if I had it, but I use my large pouches for ears. And for me, that's more than enough. I do really wish they would have used that pink print and made a large pouch because I think I would have bought the large pouch. That's like one thing that I was kind of sad about. They didn't make a large pouch in this collection or even a mini pouch, just something like a different pouch in that pink print, I think would have made my little heart even happier. And the last thing they came out with for this collection were little sweat sets. So they came out with the green one, which I think you guys already can guess. I did not buy the green. I just was not a fan of the green. I think the little print is cute. I just wish the color wasn't so bright green, you know? It does have matching sweats that has a little presence. And they came out with a pink set and the pink set, you guys, they freaking got me with this. Definitely not something I was expecting to buy, but I did have to get the entire set. I was like, I can't just get one or the other. Especially with the whole thing that happened with me and the purple Halloween set, which I only have the sweatshirt because I couldn't get the sweatpants. If you know, you know. I was like, I am not missing out on this sweat set. I know what size I'm getting. I'm buying it immediately and I got it. We have a very pretty pastel pink sweat set with um, 
little Christmas trees, little peppermint Mickeys. I don't know. I just think it's so subtle Disney as well, which is why I love it even more. It doesn't have like, this is not subtle Disney. Like this is Disney Christmas in your face. I need everyone to know that I love Disney. That's what this is giving. But there are days where I don't want to be giving all of this. You know what I mean? So a little subtle Disney where like, if you look really closely, you see the little Mickey heads and you're like, wow, that's so cute. My vibe. I love it. I'm obsessed and I'm so excited. Like, I don't know why that's my favorite thing in this entire collection is that sweat set. And I have been thinking about it every single day and I'm waiting for it to ship because I need it right now. It is so cute and I cannot wait to get it. I bought a lot from this collection, but don't worry. We'll do a haul. We'll do a review. You guys will get my honest thoughts on everything. That is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you guys purchasing? What are you guys passing this month? I feel like this month was a lot smaller because I did do the October purchaser pass not too long ago. Hopefully the December one will be a lot more merch to go through. If you guys enjoyed today's video, as always, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more. I love you guys so, so much. I'm so excited for Vlogmas and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.